Hey guys, good morning. It's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? And if it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. So what are we doing today? So yesterday's video was pretty long. Um, this project did take quite a bit of time. I actually thought that was going to be a shorter video and I was like, oh, 39 minutes? That's crazy. Anyway, it is what it is. Resin does take a bit of a time to do. Um, and I actually went off on my own and I actually made this little tile. Um, I used the tiles. This is not a balloon. I just wanted to try it out. And I did varnish it with the uh, Tri-Art uh, liquid glass. So I just wanted to show that to you. Um, right after I go over what we're going to be doing today, I am going to be unmolding these because these are ready to be unmolded. And this guy definitely is. Um, I partially unmolded it already. This is was with the other resin. And again, I still can't uh, remember the name of it. But I will go off in a second and uh, let you know because that one, that resin is not as good as the Unicone resin. Okay? All right. So we are using Primal Flow today. We have a lot of colors. I'll go over that in a minute. So what are we doing? We are going to make a little Valentine's uh, pour on this wood here, this little round wood piece, and uh, we're making a craft out of it, okay? So I got these at the Dollar Tree. This is uh, a little set. I don't know how many comes in a set. Maybe eight, six to eight. Um, this is felt and these are actually kind of cool because you have these get these little hearts that pop out that you could actually use if you want to sprinkle something on something else so that kind of pops out of these holes here and then this is like a very thin foam this is not thick at all but this is um, foam I don't know how many you get in that pack but it's from the Dollar Tree so you know eight ten and then I also got these of the Dollar Tree. They're not stickers, they're just little probably foam uh, glittery hearts. So I already, um, off camera, what I did was I just attached the felt to the foam with a little um, double sticky tape and a couple of drops of hot glue. So it's on there pretty good, but it does come up on the sides, which I, which I wanted. Okay, and then after we do the pour and the actual painting dries, I'm going to attach it there. And then I'm thinking while the paint is still wet, I'm just going to attach these. Stick them right onto the painting, you know, if I like it. You know, I may look at the paint and go, no, it doesn't need anything um, else. But if I feel like it does and I want to add it, I'm going to add it, okay? Yeah, your idea should always be fluid. And sometimes I just make decisions at the last minute. So we're going to make a little Valentine's. This is like a really great, quick little craft that anyone could do. Um, I, I don't remember how much this was, these. But there, I got 30 of them, and at a very good price, at a very good price. Uh, I will go back and see if I can remember how much they were, but they were not expensive. But I got 30 of them, and they're very light. They're very light, so you can, like, attach them. So I'm going to attach the, um, when this gets dry, I'm going to attach it right here with some hot glue, okay? Literally, it's a very quick and simple craft idea that anyone could do um, very very cheaply like I said all the all these materials here I got them for three dollars plus tax okay seriously Dollar Tree is literally a dollar plus tax and you're done okay and then if you have some you know little maybe a cheap little I don't know a little piece of wood or anything you could just pour over it alrighty and then also this little guy since it is still winter and I have not yet used this I've been dying to I'm just gonna put this in with it it is almost February 
It has not snowed a lot here in New York, which I'm sad about. I'm sure a lot of people are happy about. Um, you know, there's a lot of people here with cars and stuff, so it is a pain to live in the city and it be snowing, but I love the snow, and so I'm going to do a little snowman. So let me quickly uh, show you what colors we're going to be using, okay? We're going to use primarily pinks, plus I got to use a red. So for the heart um, crafty project, we are going to use the Primer Flow with the Celtastic Pour Oil. All right, and this is uh, bubble gum, bubble gum pink. We got the red glam, we got the plum perfect, and we got the magenta. And I know you guys are gonna kill me, but um, <laughs> Primal Flow the other night, I think it was now three nights ago, had a sale. Of course, they had a sale. They have me hooked now, and it was buy one, get one free. Oh my god, so. I know. Hi. Um, I got the colors. What is called intense teal? It was just gorgeous, and cranberry, which is equally gorgeous. Okay, just ugh. Buy one get one free. I had to, but I just got those two. I didn't go crazy because I do have my subscription box coming, and I have. I really don't know. They don't tell you what colors are in there, so maybe I'll have doubles of them. But honestly, I don't care. Because I just, I, I told you, I gush over this paint. I love this paint. All right, let me stop talking. And then for this little guy, I want to do like a kind of an icy look. So I pick colors, even though this is like sea foam, like the sea, but this is like an icier, an icier blue. So I'm using the colors champagne, sea foam. And Silver Fox, okay, to give that nice kind of crystal icy look. And I don't know if I'm going to be putting anything over it, you know, at the last minute. You know me now. Now I may throw glitter on anything. I don't know. But that uni uh, unicorn glitter has that icy look. So maybe I'll just dash a little bit on there. I don't know yet. All right, so every color, every single color uh, does have the um celtastic pour oil in this disgusting dirty bottle sorry but yep alrighty and um yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing um the pours i think i'll be doing <coughs> excuse me sorry um i think i'm just gonna do straight pours today i think i'm gonna do straight pours i was thinking of a ring pour but i want um i add a lot of um the pour oil it's about one to two drops per cup, and these are pretty small pieces, okay? So I just felt like cells today, um, just getting a lot of cells. So I'm going to do straight pours on both, um, on both pieces, okay? So I'll be back in a second because we are going to do some unmolding, and uh, that's it. So I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys, I am back. All right, so let's just unmold this one first. This is the, oh, damn. I forgot to look at the name of it. I'll come back. I got a little fingerprint on here. That's, that's not going to stay on here, but that's cool. Um, I am always putting lotion on my hand, so, so that just popped out. And that came out really pretty. That, I don't remember if it was like an Aztec gold um, color, but this is the other, um, uh, resin I use and this is the one where I had issues with and that's my own fault because I had it um, Too cold. So yeah, so I had issues with it. So that came out really cool and it's nice and hard and This did take longer to cure because it was cold. Okay So that's that one I'm excited. So this is the one I put little glass pieces in which I shouldn't have I put one in the center too um, yeah, and I got another mark on it, but no, that just wipes off, thank God. All right, so I should have just left the glass out, or I should have put more all around it, not just one random piece, but it's okay. Again, this is my first, this is my second time literally doing this, so these molds, they, they pop out really, really fast, and, okay, as I say fast, it's taking a longer time. But 
it, it, you feel them inside, they pop, they're starting to pop out. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, I put one in the center. So this came up pretty. You can't even see the glass, now it just looks like one little random piece. That's cool. This came out perfect. Yep. I think this side's a little thicker, so yeah, it just means, yeah. So it's not 100% perfect, this side, see? It's just learning. I have to learn, I had to put more on this side, see? Okay. That's even, and then it gets a little thinner on this side. So that's my fault. Um, yeah, but I, again, this is literally my second time doing this, but it's still pretty, and I could definitely use this uh, for whatever. I don't know, decoration, like a coaster. Yeah, I'm still going to use it um, around the house and do something with it. But yeah, that's just me learning. That's all. I have to pay more. And also, I was filming, so I'm like trying to talk to you guys and do this at the same time uh, the first time I did these I was like you know at night by myself so yeah I'm okay so it's, it's cool you know we make mistakes and now um, I have learned a lesson <laughs> simply is that so hopefully this is more even I mean it's still beautiful you know I mean even if I did make a little tiny boo-boo I mean it's okay all right, oh, this one came out better. Yes, perfect. This one came out perfect, and I am so happy. I love the oval shape. This came out beautiful. I love these colors, and I love the fact that, I mean, I have such amazing uh, mica choices. There's 35 colors. I mean, the, literally, the choices are endless. And honestly, I like resin just clear, with like maybe a little glitter in it like those other um, mermaid tails I made I'm in love with those it's just clear with a touch of that unicorn glitter and those little shell pieces and I'm in love so certain like molds I actually like it clear more so yeah this came out beautiful yep okay so let's move on I am talking too much again. So here are the mermaid tails. I can't wait to see what it looks like with some color. And that's the reason why I use the uh, bubble bath pink. Because I wanted kind of that clear effect. Because, wow, this is gorgeous. Oh my god, I am in love. Yeah. I love just the details in them. And then... It's to detail in the little scales here. I am in love. So this came out great. I am super happy with it. This is beautiful. Okay. I am super happy. Ugh, I love these little mermaids. All right. I, now I want... Someone said... Are you going to... Um, I forgot who it was in my comments said, am I going to assemble the whole mermaid? I'm like... Oh. That's a great idea. Um, I don't have any more mermaid pieces. I, I just saw mermaid tail uh, molds. But that would be awesome if they actually like sold um, different uh, sections. So here we go. With this color. This is lettuce green. I love that too. With the uh, bubble bath uh, pink. So it came out good. So I think I'm having pretty good luck with these, uh, with the molds so far. You know, being like I'm a real newbie. So that means if I'm a newbie, anyone else uh, can do this as well. Basically, you just really, really, really have to, um, you have to listen to directions to the resin you're using and just basic resin um, directions, seriously. Like, like I said, temperature, make sure your surface is level, the stirring, it just, you know, gloves, um, ventilation, all that stuff that I said yesterday uh, in yesterday's video, you have to listen to direction. It is, you know, someone said, oh, wow, that's like another comment. I was like, oh, this is like very science-based like science -based with art. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's really why I love it. And that's why I love like just... Um, fluid art in general besides the 
the, the feeling you get when you're doing fluid art. There's so many choices, so many different things to learn, so many different techniques you can learn. Um, besides all that, which is very exciting, and it really, like I said, fuels my creativity. Um, it is very scientifically based. You have to, you know, like any chemicals, um, you have to um, follow directions, you know. You have to be careful and you have to, otherwise it's not going to come out right. Because like I said, this one, uh, I, it looks great, but it just took long, um, it did take a very long time to cure. So yeah, I mean, it didn't come out bad. I mean, it's nothing special about it. Just a square little piece with gold. I mean, I like it. Um, again, if I had like jewelry pieces, I could have made a keychain, I could add more stuff, but this was just me trying out um, the pigments because I never mixed pigments in with resin before. I want to make sure how much I needed, you know. So that's it. So I am going to clear this away. I'm going to set up my little area to paint and I will be back in a minute. All right, guys.
Hey guys, I am back. So if you're wondering what I just used, this is, monstrosity is a heat gun, which my friend Sonia bought me a long time ago. And the reason why I stopped using this thing is because a while ago I burnt myself right in that spot. Um, because I was just being careless, I had moved my hand over it and it just hit it for like half of a second. And the reason why I had to use that right now is because for some reason my torch stopped working. Don't ask me why. Uh, I'm gonna figure that out and if the worst comes to worst, I may need a new uh, butane torch. Um, I mean, you know, usually butane torches, that's like more like a kitchen one. So like, I am not surprised that it's not working because it is full of paint and stuff and maybe some paint got in it. But for now I do have a backup uh, that I can use just to get some heat on and like, you know, for what I need to get, um, to get rid of bubbles and stuff. Um, I think that the torch is better, but it is what I have right this minute. Okie dokie. So, this actually came out exactly what I wa how I wanted. Um, that just that kind of frosty, icy blue look with the silver, even with the sea foam, it is like a warmer color, but to me, it's just nice and cool. I just love that. That's very cute. And I, I didn't put any glitter or anything on it. I don't know. I may embellish it with uh, other things down the road, but I think that's a, just a really cute little snowman. And actually... Maybe um, I could add a little like hook or something up there on top at a later date and make a little ornament out of it. Who knows, you know, and I could fix the backs of it, which I usually do anyway with um, a lot of times I like using that uh, glittery, glittery foam uh, little paper that I got at my local uh, discount store. Okay, so this guy came up pretty. Um, I was a little annoyed because my... Um, like I said, my torch stopped working, so I was looking for more cells. But this came out really pretty. So you know what? It, I just almost forgot, and I would have screwed this up. So now I do think it needs a little something, because I was looking for more pop. So I am, actually. I mean, it, you do see all the little colors. It's just a straight pour. So I am actually going to add right there. While I am talking to you and while the paint is still wet and I got paint on top of it which is okay I'll wipe that off in a minute or not that's cool all right okay and I'm wondering should I add another one how does that gonna look actually yeah that looks cool this is a more red with the pink and this is more pink I'm gonna add a little red one right well, fate decided this fell out of my hands. All right. Oops, sorry. Okay. There we go. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if I want, really wanted to. And actually, I got a dot of pink in there. That's funny. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't know if I was going to use those little, um, it's like table scatter for when you have parties and stuff just to decorate the table. I didn't really know if I was going to use them or not, but for me, this particular painting needed a little something extra. And this is more of like a crafty project mixed with the pour painting. So when this is dry, I am going to attach it to this guy. Okay, so that's just a cute little craft you could do. Um, yeah, anyone could do it, you know. Um, you don't have to do pour painting. You could get these wood pieces and just paint them um, any color you want. Add some, you know, embellish it how you want it. And then you could just add it to this guy. Now, if this is not sturdy enough, I may put, like, cardboard or cardstock, uh, I, you know, in, on the back of that. Just to, I'll see how it feels once uh, this guy dries and I attach it to there and see if it's like sturdy enough. So maybe I'll give this to my husband for Valentine's Day. That would be cute and he'll like that. He always appreciates um, my art and in general. He loves my art and he loves when I make things for him. So he will like that. 
All right, guys, so that is it for today. Me and my big contraption. <laughs> that thing scares me. After I burnt myself, I never wanted to use it again. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Listen, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. You know, follow me on social media. My links are below on Facebook and on Instagram. I am on Instagram more than Facebook. Um, yeah, and if anyone is interested in buying a piece from me, my email is below. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.